Hello, hello everyone, Paros here, and welcome to the first episode of a new series in which I'm doing. Uh, this series is Time Machine, and this is episode one, and there's going to be two parts to this. I'm going to try and slow this down a little bit, because it is going to be a quite a long one. Uh, but hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it, and as you can see from the gameplay that you're seeing now, this is from PlayStation 2. Um, I got my splits through the other day and I decided right I'm going to crack on with this series I've been really excited to do this and the first game that I picked to do is Simpsons Hit and Run uh, and I have got the Wikipedia page up just to give me a little bit of background for you guys as well I do know quite a bit about the game but um, obviously I just wanted to get facts right this that, and the other um, the game did come out in Europe and Australia <laughs> uh, but in two October the 31st 2003 um, but came out in America in 2000, September 16th, 2003. Um, but yeah, the game was based around obviously The Simpsons. It was a very popular at the time back then. Simpsons was literally like the best, uh, the best series out there, TV series for kids, um, like cartoon-wise. And before Family Guy, and that was a lot more out there and a lot more popular. Uh, but yeah, the game sort of based itself around like a Grand Theft Auto sort of style, but into Simpsons sort of um, format. And this was based around suspicious things going on in Springfield, this, that, and the other. And you have to do certain missions to find out what's going on. And it gives you certain little missions around the basis of that as well. Um, and it worked out to be a good, fun game and something that I think a lot of people enjoyed. I mean, I was one of them people who was, couldn't wait for this game. As soon as I heard it was going to be a Simpsons hit and run game, I was like, yeah, go for it. <coughs> and I think I got the date came out. I think I paid about 35, 40 quid for it back in the day. And, but yeah, it was a definite game that I absolutely loved. There were some funny sayings, that, especially from Homer in this, and uh, we'll pick out some of them later. Uh, but some funny sayings. And it was nice to have that um, feel of where you watch it, you watch The Simpsons, but then to get to actually be in the actual in Springfield, be in the characters, this, that, and the other. And when, oh, let's think how old I was then, crikey. Uh, we're 19 now, so 2012, 27. So I was 12 when this came out. I was 12. Um, maybe even, no, I even have been 10, 10 or 12. Oh, my maths isn't very good. It used to be good. Um, but yeah, obviously it was a game that when you're 10 or 12, it sort of captures your imagination and you just get absolutely hooked on it and you love it. Uh, and I think I played this for pretty much a week straight before I completed it. <laughs> and so I got used to the sayings. A lot of me and my friends were back at school then, loved the game and we'd just talk about stupid sayings on it and this, that and the other. Um, but as you can see, my driving skills are second to none. No, I really couldn't get used to using the PlayStation controller again, that was the truth of it all. And just the controls in general, because I didn't bother to look at the controls. And I wanted to show you this little uh, glitch thing here that I found. Yeah! Go for it. Uh, as you can see, like in the right hand corner, you pick up coins for smashing certain things, completing certain tasks, this, that, and the other. Uh, but I didn't realise this when I played it again, like a few days ago, um, until, until I. Uh, had to pick up the Plow King, which you'll see later at the end of this at the end of this part. Uh, but yeah, this is a mission where you have to go and beat Principal Skinner to the school to give Lisa her project so that she doesn't get in trouble, uh, which is good fun. Um, so you pick that up, and then Skinner just pops out of nowhere once you once you go through. Like so, I'll do a little thing and go through here, and then Skinner's there. He's there. But I start off terribly. Absolutely terrible. And <laughs> I think I really fuck up some of these missions, but I do manage to always get back because at the end of the day, as a kid's game, the missions aren't too hard. Um, some of them towards the end of the game, I remember, got really tough. I don't know why they made them so tough because I was. I did struggle with a few of them, honestly, did. Um, a few of them are just tricky and just. Well, I'm not a, a massive, like, I don't play too complex games, <laughs> like something like Skyrim, for example. Is a Skyrim? Um, something about took an arrow to the head or something. I don't know to the knee. I don't know. Um, yeah, I wouldn't play games like that. I just like playing games that are fun to play. 
and yeah, this was one of them, without a doubt. So yeah, I've beaten Principal Skinner to the school, and the whole getting to go into the school, this and the other, I just loved it back in the day, I really did, really liked it. Um, and as you can see, Ralphie's down there. And I remember he used to say something, but he didn't say anything in this. He might be saying something. But the, the background volume might just be a bit too loud. Uh, but yeah. Some of the characters were a little bit off at times. Like the way they said things, or the looks that they would give, or little glitches in the game. But obviously at the time, from when it came out, it was very up with it graphics were good for the PS2 and yeah good de definitely a good good game to play um, what did I do here did I set the fire alarm off no I didn't I might have done that earlier <laughs> just messing around so here's my little victory celebrations Homer doing some jump I very highly doubt he can jump that far because he's a big lump uh, but as you can see in the bottom right hand corner where you got the circle, like when you get into trouble, like you hit a post there, it goes up a little yellow bit and stuff. So it wouldn't mean that you could just go around hitting everything to get the coins um, without getting away with it. Because once the ring fills up, you get the police chasing you and you can get busted, this, that, and the other. And it will take away coins, I think. Um, but as you can see here, this is where you pick up your cars once you've got enough points, this, that, and the other. Um, so where's it getting me to go? Back to back to the home. Back to the home. Um, but let's have a look. Let's have a little browse over the Wikipedia page again, and just see. Yeah. So it says like basically it was like based on a Grand Theft Auto style. Um, but the characters you get to be a Homer. But uh, I think, do you get to be a Pooh? I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Uh, you got the other two. This and the other. It, it, it tries to fill in everything that was in the game. Um, so you just get a general outline of of getting to f getting that feel of being within Springfield. And I think they did create this game very well. I really do think they did. Um, oh, this is. I think you have to go and talk to Ned in a bit because you're stealing stuff. It's quite. It's it's all very serious. All very very serious. Um, yeah, the Buzz Cola things are a big thing in this as well and just different stuff this and never yeah what they said was basically because they had Simpsons Road Rage I believe like a, the, the, it was about a taxi crazy taxi after the crazy taxi game came out they did a Simpsons Road Rage based on that sort of thing um, that was in 2001 then in 2003 they brought this out but I definitely feel this is the better game I did have Road Rage for a bit I think I traded it in um, but yeah I've got to go and see Ned now and obviously we're going to reverse into him and plough him into the wall. Absolutely quality. But he's complaining basically that loads of people have stolen his stuff and even things like Rod's inhaler. Um, so, yeah, well, once I said there, he said all this, Homer feels a bit guilty and decides that he's got to go and get back every little thing that he's stolen from Ned. So you have to drive around on a time limit, as you'll see in a second, and go and pick up all the little bits and bobs that he has stolen <laughs> as it says collect all the six, ne six of Ned's lost items so I'm in the, I've got to pick up his tux at first and let's see yeah nice easy one but he gave you a bit too long like time limit wise like, I think it would have been good if they uh, if they thought about it and maybe put time limits uh, different difficulty levels so if you've got easy hard and then easy medium then hard so it would make it like, a bit more of a challenge for people there's obviously some people at 10 or 12 are still like really good at video games I make a bit of a booba here I get back into the car instead of talking to Barney okay Barney thank you thank you thank you thank you look at Barney the alcoholic the fat bastard <laughs> so we got the caller back and that woman is stuck in the car what is she doing in there no ah we run into a phone box no oh god now I'm picking up a chair is that a really stole a chair not fun Homer not cool oh. so I have two and a half minutes to find a portrait it should be fun 
it's frustrating when the car's getting in your way and you're like, ah oh, no. So there's the portrait and obviously as you can see he gives you far too much time but we're not going to complain because this game was amazing and that's what we're doing this series for. I'm doing this series to show you guys that um, to try and get this community back into a bit more of a high spirit because I am honestly sick to death of seeing videos where people are just constantly rowing. I feel like everyone's in a comp in like some sort of competition where they think that they've got to be the best or they've got a point to prove. And it's not about that, it's about everyone, like, back when people first started making videos, enjoying yourself and in and making videos for the pleasure of yourself and for the pleasure of everyone else that wants to watch it, making something that, that people think's fun and can get people talking and enjoying video games in general, rather than, like, taking it too seriously and, and slating each other left, right and centre. Um, but yeah, Ned's still standing outside his house. I don't really know why. You would stroll around outside your house. I don't know who else does that. I usually prefer to sit down because my legs will ache otherwise. <laughs> so yeah, Ned's Ned's got his bits back. I can't really hear what he's saying because I've tried to keep the volume down in the background. Oh yeah, it's something about a reward. And then he says, you can't have a reward, it's from God, or something stupid like that. So yeah, obviously because I'm really, really, really not lazy, I drive to the Simpsons house, because that's how it's done. Yeah, typical Homer style, you've got to do everything very lazily. Lazily, I do like that word. Uh, so we are in and talking to Marge again. And what does she want? <laughs> just the, the blue hair is just quality I just when they was making this series the blue hair I just don't get where that would come from so now we have to drive to the burger place oh where's he going where are we going turn him around yeah it was quite cool with like the green arrows on the road to show you where to go this and the other it was like a simple Grand Theft Auto for kids. <laughs> and you could run people over, which was fun as well. So yeah, as you can see, that yellow bar goes up when you hit stuff. And then when it gets to like three quarters round, I think you just like, definitely end up blowing everything up. Where am I going? So I think this is Lenny or Carl, I don't know. We need the Plow King. We need the Plow King from Barney. But this is where I think I realised I walked over, talked to Barney, and realised that I needed some coins. I hadn't really been playing the objective that well, getting coins. Um, so we'll fast forward through that bit in a second. <laughs> I think this is... It might have been the last bit before, it was like, take all who want, you filthy whore, or something. That used to be one of the uh, sayings that he used to say at school. Um, but yeah, I realise I have 32 coins here. But I remember there's loads of coins around this part, so they're super fast through all of this. Getting loads of coins, mega fast. <laughs> Fix my car. That's what them little mechanical things do. So yeah, this was so time consuming though. I was just like, ah, oh, ah, oh, effort, effort. And then I was like, yeah, I got the coin, so did a little victory jump. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Got back in the car for some reason. Hell no. The there we go. Get the Plow King. 150 smackers. And this is where the fun starts. So you have to destroy Smithers' car. Um, but that will be in the second part. So thank you very much for watching, and watch the second part, guys. Watch it, watch it, watch it.